All right, so it's that time of the year again, and we will continue. I will continue with the visits to the postal office. I'm going to continue to demonstrate to you what exactly is delivered to me, what exactly is delivered not. Nothing really is delivered to me. Everything, again, is confiscated, stolen. Uh, I was at the postal office just three days ago. Uh, that's basically on February the 27th, 2024. Today is, again, when I was. Today, however, is also, I should say already, is March 1st, 2024. So... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let you listen, translate for you audio recording from the Novo Mesto Postal Office. Of course, it's the main postal office in the city of Novo Mesto. The same postal office as always. Uh, recordings from February the 27th and March the 1st of 2024. Let's have some fun. So we are talking about I love to present this beautiful city, the Novo Mesto. Um, unfortunately, we don't have such a luxury anymore when it comes to the Google Maps. You can see is everything is dead. Anywhere you click, it's not responsive. The Google Maps, hold on. There is a map right there in Slovenian language. It says Zemdevit, Zemdevit, that's a map. Uh, but no, there is no map. This is basically improvement from the Google. Uh, you, however, can click on whatever the Google offers under the links, I suppose, that this is the way it works. Uh, and, and that's all there is to it. Then other than that, it's a big improvement to Google work on it. Uh, for you, dear users, to feel better about the Google services provided to you by Google. We are making an important step forward. I will not bother you this time with what I managed to demonstrate you earlier. And so, Oh, this is getting kind of comical, really. But this is a postal office. It's like you would say, hey, what's your business? Google Streets don't work, man. Yeah, that's right. Google Streets. Open now all videos, images. Oh, this will be this one here. And I will open you, hopefully, location. You're going to get to see one like this right there in the center of the city it's a main postal office now it's going to be maybe it's going to even show you some picture or something like that maybe not oh well so the main postal office like always main postal office it is visit it for you and this is basically what happened let me see if i can this uh, service from Google really is getting better and better. I mean, I, yeah, there you go. Less and less accessible. <laughs> there you go. Big enough for you? All right. So, there you go. Let's go. This is a visit to the postal office in the city of the Nova Mesto on February the 27th of 2024. Those are evening hours. Main postal office, Nova Mesta City, February the 27th, February 27th. So, good evening. So, uh, I got a letter from here a few days ago. And I was just going to say, I got a letter from here in February 2021. It's 
na telefonu pokaza, da vidimo. Ukrbite, katerega smo danes, prosim? 27. Ja, ja, 27. februarja, ne? 2024. Ok, so what I do is, I demonstrate them this SMS message here. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy because on uh, February the 27th, uh, again, I demonstrated them this package here, uh, message here. Uh, they have no track of the two messages. See right there. They still have no track. They don't, they still don't know anything. Something I have demonstrated you, I already have done. In the past, uh, under this visit here that you see, is I already demonstrated these two SMS messages exactly under this post here, where I also posted original um, original audio of my visit to the postal office on February uh, the 22nd and February the 23rd. You know. So this is basically the continuation of what you see, all this stuff that you see here. And some stuff I have not even posted, all this stuff here. Uh, January 17, whatever that is, January 10, um, all this stuff that I posted with audio recordings, video recordings, and we have January 12 again, uh, and... You have here, what do you have listed here? January the 25th. Uh, it's not only January the 25th, no way. You have January the 24th and you have January the 25th. And the next one here that you have is, I don't know, January the 30th and you have February the 6th. As a matter of fact, you have here um, you have here what started with the audio recordings on January the 30 and it ended with the January the 15. But you can see this is one, two, three, I don't know, four or five times in between, yeah, between January the 30 and February the 15, five times in between I stopped by. So you can see that I regularly stop, regularly check. Again, you have January the 30 uh, to January 15. This you have even audios from January the 24th to January 25. I think I have mentioned that or whatever I did. Uh, again, this is what I mentioned to you already, January 30 to, to, uh, to February the 15th. And then you have here, this one here, you have February the 22nd, the February the 23rd. Today, like I said, we're going to do the February the 27th and March the 1st. Uh, so twice I checked this week for uh, packages and the SMS, the one I have just demonstrated you, I have already demonstrated in this video here. But this is continuation of what I'm about to demonstrate you as the last thing in this video. You're going to see me just how many packages I'm going to go and I will cancel and demand a refund for them. This is a crazy procedure indeed, yes, uh, there you go, these are the two SMSs I have received right there, I demonstrated already on February the 22nd, and let's go, let's continue with the, with the crazy games, they say nothing, three days ago on February the 27th when I stopped by, again I get the answer negative, we don't have anything for you, they say, we have nothing for you. My mom's name, my name. Yeah, I describe what it would be, packages from the abroad. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so they put the lady uh, at the front because this is more important than my packages that acts stupid. Uh, and this was the lady on February the 27th, like a little younger lady, not really, but more like skinny, I would say. A long time employee here also in this place. I don't know. I think I remember her sometimes. Probably like since 2004 or something like that. Earlier, maybe I started to work over there like in 2004, 2003, something like this. And she is a relative from the neighbor, uh, Metod Yerman. This is uh, a criminal who wears a police badge. It was a lot said about this so-called police investigator. A gangster that works for uh, Milan Kuch and Borut Pahor, who participated in this genocide extermination procedure against me since the beginning of, since we moved to this location here on Kirka, basically, since, since a very, very long time, even before that. Uh, since he was a kid, really, he participated in it, but... Once he settled for the police job, his uh, police academy, then uh, it turned out to be something else. Um, what can I say? Uh, she is a relative, and it would be interesting when I note how police director from Novo Mesto, directors from Novo Mesto, they would deliver me to ex-directors from Novo Mesto, they would deliver me to the postal office with the state prosecutors, can you imagine this stuff with the state prosecutors? And they would demand from me, they would deliver her and demand from me to acknowledge that I like her. Do you like her? Yes, I like her. And she wanted to know if I like her. Absolutely, she was completely obsessed with the idea to see that I like her. If you don't like her, uh, she's not going to testify for you. Wow. Uh, she's not going to testify for me if I am not going to like her. This is the way it was the explanation. Uh, and at the same time, it was the commercial they played right in front of me uh, about her being a relative from a neighbor here, from the Toti Yerman, uh, with words repeating to me, he was the one who got you her. Uh, he is the one who got her to you as a witness. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, since she was not his only relative involved in this stuff, and since these criminals tried to bail one another with uh, locations where they enforced the crime against me, uh, all the way to the psychiatric hospital, and in between, at the guards, at police, at the postal office, at whatever they knew I would have to interact, and there would be crime enforced against me. Uh, they had their relatives involved in it, and they pushed everyone else away uh, so that crime could smoothly go through. And those are the people that these criminals here from the Novo Mesto police station eventually have designated. Uh, therefore, their relatives, their families will testify for me. Isn't that fucking wonderful? And so, therefore, I should be thankful to the people who poisoned me, to the people that destroyed me 52 years for having even their relative testify for me. This is the way this stuff is done, yeah? That's how they want to do it. So, this is the lady. Uh, she wanted me to identify her, and I will identify her. And I will identify her also before she's going to head to the jail. Again, I will do it for the court, for the police purpose. We will do that stuff. So she acts smart in front of the computer. She's take my name. I give her my name. I give her a fucking ID. I give her. I spend time. I go. I'm done with the procedure. This is supposed to be a help to me. Uh, it's supposed to remind me of who she is, and I should really feel good about myself right now. Look, there is a help, there is assistance for me, right? Because how the fuck you? I'm not needing this kind of stuff from her. 
such favors in a parenthesis. Yes, I'm going to call me some of the same number. I got tired of it. I gave her a personal ID. So she's in front of the computer, and the way they brainwash me with this stuff, uh, I would just give the name to her, and she would have a capacity to pull. The way they brainwash me for this part of procedure, yes, the way they brainwash me, uh, she was assuring me in front of the computer is the first time I see her at the postal office, by the way. Uh, the only time I saw her before was during MK Ultra. Uh, so she, uh, she assured me during MK Ultra the only thing I need is going to be so easy when I'm going to come to the postal office when I will be meeting her. It will be such an easy thing. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's not. There's nothing I can say. I mean, drugged up, beaten up, tortured, and you're told this stuff. This basically is all the fuck I can tell you went on. Uh, she claimed me that there is no need to give numbers of a packaging. Uh, it's just enough to give a first and last name, and it's easy to check on the computer and see whether there is any package pending for you or not and so on because maybe that's important because every time I had to give them a numbers of the packaging so I don't know how that's supposed to make me feel and I don't really give a fuck about you see I was in the military and I was brought up in a discipline harsher than in the military and so what I do is when people say they ask me for something I give them that's all that is you want this you got it I don't argue I give this I give that. I actually give her even my personal ID so it makes things easy for her because apparently it's difficult to spell my last name. Uh, and uh, that's all that is. She assures me there is no package, there's nothing that arrived for me. Not if it would make any difference, whatever they stated to me in the MK Ultra. Who cares? I mean, I just want to make this easy. For her as much as possible, whatever it is she requires, she got it. So we have some more coughing. Okay. So again, I repeat the date. They confirmed the date is February the 27th, 2024. Let's go. Finish, and we go. <laughs> She's still going through the computer. To my mama, Alsatsana Biblia. She is asking me, uh, what did I say my wife's name was? I think I was clear about a mother, not wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hvala lepa. So I say thank you and I go. She is uh, looking at me, waiting for me to ask her questions, but I don't have a time for that. The following is an audio recording from March 1st, 2024. Again, um, Central Postal Office in the city of the Novo Mesto, main postal office, Novo Mesto City. Uh, March 1, March 1st, today. 2024 therefore just um, three days later on Friday today eventually I stop again at this postal office to see if there is anything for me they assure me again there is nothing for me
A jaz sem se pa vlasil, da bi vprašal, če kje za me prišlo. Nobene stvarjeni. In vedem, da pogledali se spet samo sprede, ne? Niste se nekaj vesoba tukaj zraven, ne? So they assure me that all the packages are stored up front. Tukaj imate pošno ležeč od sprede samo, ne? Nimate nič od zavljeno sobe. Tukaj kar naprej spišljajo zaradi drugih stvari, katere ste imeli. Vprašal bi vas še eno druga stvar. Katerega smo danes, prosim? Prvi marec, prvi tretji. Hvala lepo vam. Uh, first March 2024, uh, I wanted to make sure, bloody sure, that you hear me asking these people, that you absolutely hear me asking these people about, uh, that you absolutely hear me asking these people about visiting the room adjacent to this room, to the main lobby area. They did not visit it. In fact, they have. Uh, have even assured me that there is absolutely for the packages of the posta restante posta ležeče, posta ležeče, everything is stored up front in a lobby area, not in a room adjacent to the main lobby. That's all there is. I want to make sure that you hear this and of course also the date and time. That's also the stuff that's important is very, very essential to me. Right? So well, what can I say here? Um, hmm. Oh no, this is just a light basically that went dead when I visited my father today. Quite interesting. Well, this has been going on for several days already. You know, I tell you about the psychiatrist uh, and his uh, It seems to me that they are not capable to repair this stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was you maybe the best one because this one died then in front of me. Huh? I don't really know if they are doing this stuff only when I come, but this one actually went yeah. dead in front yeah. of me. That's interesting. Look at look at that face. <laughs> it seems like it costs too much money. This shit goes on already for several days. Somebody's nervous, <laughs> but that's not me, this. really. This yeah, one's gonna explode good. right in front of me. What exactly oh. is this? This is where you go to the main lobby. On the first this is floor. just a little entertainment. Like okay, we're gonna call this up for like a little entertainment. There is a department called Bob, actually, over there. Bob, Bobby, what's my name? Somebody's ah, losing go. nerves, but that's not me. Oh, look, eventually he died. He died. There you go. Yeah, all right. So, uh -huh. we finished one light. All right, so... Can you imagine what my presence does? And this year was at the postal office today. Yes, so that you can see me today, postal office. Nothing for me, lady says. Poshno razreč, posta restante only, they have it at the front. Just as they, I already suggested, they have yeah. stated me. Main postal office today, March 1st, 2024, you recording. In the right end, I'm going to play your recording case. one more time. And um, we're going to do this one. Okay, so postal office. We have absolutely nothing February today. February 27, 2024. So uh, no? At the postal sure. office here, where I stopped by. And as you see, today is. What can I say? Today is February. Interesting. I see the security. The February 27. the 27th of 2024. 
on this opportunity that you see security here funny guy it's not a funny guy just just but. just something like that this is where psychiatrist peter kapsch and his assistant who became a uh, psychiatrist tatiana prokshu they smoked big time with the car that you see right there this is the stuff i'm going to be using due to the key that was uh it's a long story but it's a, such a beautiful proof uh, another proof i got about the video surveillance inside of the car inside of the car inside of the car the father's car they worked heavily on creation of video surveillance inside of the car which by the way they claimed me it would be at the postal office uh on the pole lights and side like that, that there would be cameras on the pole lights i don't think so i am 100 percent certain now that i have the proof in my hands based on mk ultra scenario that there are video cameras also inside of the father's car and this is a big what psychiatrist tatiana proxel stated uh, she stated me something else just basically if i could manage to go through this portion of mk ultra just one quarter of it that it would be something that she alone could not be capable to do it but i went further literally probably in monday i'm going to receive the video to prove that there are actually video cameras inside of the car just by using that security guard right there a few days earlier according to mk ultra scenario uh they orchestrated something that they have attempted to during mk ultra uh, with the idea they would obtain from me written request for a video surveillance tape from this parking lot uh, it failed them apart the plan the plan failed them apart but they became based on mk ultra scenarios which they used in mk ultra to brainwash me about this cameras posted and this in this parking lot and when i would be visiting postal office that they would be getting inside of my car etc etc uh they they didn't manage to to obtain to accomplish any of that stuff but i did manage to get proof that thanks to a particular incident that took place uh people who stopped by and next to the car uh the car right there did you see who was out there desperately trying to remind me of police visits at their security office where they brainwash me how i should write them a request uh to for the video surveillance uh, so that they could submit one i don't know to the police or whatever through the police and uh, then they would give me the video surveillance we should demonstrate how they enter my car which on opportunity they did not but they i'm going to repeat to you did absolutely everything possible to make me feel like they did uh they tried to trigger this type of stuff yeah according to mk ultra incidents and so on so it's not such a weird guy he's got a particular particular assignment uh just as he lives i decided I'm here is where time. i found the key from the garage uh i take i take time to to just record this the whole incident here this key here that somewhere in that area or something like so don't worry that, about it the, there are ladies here with people they are to look inside me she's gonna fuck me literally she used it. they literally anticipated they would do some damage to me uh through the brainwash and they were so certain that when something like this would play out that i would stand no chance that psychiatrist satyana proxel stated me if you could do just if i would go do a quarter of what i did she she stated me if the same was done to her she would not be capable
He was more than just a psychiatrist that had corruption involved in it. She also participated in these issues. Not in all of them, but sometimes in certain issues she did participate. But well, don't worry about it. I I eventually made it through the whole thing to to prove you. In fact, will go to the office, will write the request, but not based on burglary, burst, bur uh, based on unauthorized entry into the car, but to obtain the tapes about people, about the girls that were standing next to my car and conversing with one another. There were some ladies in their 30s, whatever, that were next to my car, and it was only particular parking spot where I had where I was compelled to park the car the time when I was there. And that kind of stuff was used to compel me into a, a labyrinth of MK Ultra, which would make me, uh, basically would portray me like a paranoid, like uh, make statement that somebody entered the car and so on and so forth, which did not. And all that stuff was done because I was in a hurry in a postal office and the key had fallen me from the hands. The key which I placed in the middle console where the manual transmission is located had fallen me from the hands. And because it had fallen me from the hands, but the thing is the key had fallen me from the hands at home. This is the thing. It did not fall me. The key did not fall me at the postal office. It fell me at home. So when it fails you at home, the only way that you can imitate the circumstances that are resonant those of MK Ultra, exactly the same parking lot, exactly you delivered the same ladies to the same location, you completely replicate MK Ultra circumstances. That's only you can do when you have video cameras inside of the car. Because you watch basically person how he's driving and even how the key fells him off the hands. That is another story. Now, I did manage to prove that. That's the kind of video recording I want. I want the people who you have used during MK Ultra and on opportunity when I visited postal office to make me feel that somebody committed himself to unauthorized entry into the car when I visited postal office. Not because I would lose anything or something. So this is this is this is this is basically the way I do the business, you know. I'm looking for other proofs for for other purposes that I can prove that I can get like a higher meaning of the case, like a little guru, like from completely other dimension, from completely different perspective than what psychiatrists, cops, and even Tatiana Proxel, who were orchestrating this kind of incident, anticipated they could use something like this. To prove me that I'm paranoid or something. It became proven that I used them actually to get the proof about the video surveillance position inside of the car, inside of the vehicle. This is the way it's done. So the next thing I want to do is, since I have presented you the video rec uh, audio recordings from February the 27th, and today, which is March the 1st of 2024. Oh, sure. I have just plugged the microphone in it, and I have to make sure it's recording. Yep. That way, uh, I'm not going to lose the audio recording. The next thing what we're going to do is, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go, and we're going to start to cut packages, meaning there is a list of packages should be delivered, and they never will be delivered. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to cut, like they say in German, stornieren. Uh, cancel, I'm going to say, package deliveries from AliExpress. Here, the stuff I'm going to use, I will put the links below that you can see, that you can refer to this stuff. If you are investigating this case or something like that, we will do this. But right now... I'm going to take you to AliExpress.
the first package which I already have canceled um, what can I say uh, the the Aliexpress came to conclusion that I don't have the su sufficient amount of proofs uh, request is finished uh, there is no refund based on this insufficient proof you provided we cannot approve this request you can contact customer service for more so basically <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen just like this i'm not throwing the money away uh, so this is still the watch we are talking about uh, still being basically ripped stolen and i'm glad that aliexpress holds uh, its uh, stand because at least i know that they made they did their part i know that i have a reliable partner on the other end that aliexpress did absolutely everything to send me this package yes i just by the law i had to go and cancel this on time and that's basically i do so you can see here the way it went the packaging uh the packaging was sent on january the 6th 2024 yes and it basically just simply uh, never arrived and it even states that on february the 18 2024 the package was destroyed something that it was used during mk ultra uh, they would suggest me that something like this all kinds of stuff like you know i i just uh, I'm not going to say that I don't know basically what it means. It means canceled. It means I don't understand. It would be canceled. It would be canceled. But uh, it appears here that delivery update, delivery attempt again was unsuccessful on February the 18th. This is kind of crazy stuff. Uh, look, January 18, out for delivery and so on. Left customs on January the 13th. January the 13th, left customs. Uh, now we already are March 1st. So, do you see what I mean when I tell you the stuff like this? Thank you. Uh, we're going to close this baby down. This is one item we can clearly say stolen. We're going to go back to the orders under this account. And then we're going to scroll down. And uh, we're going to start canceling. Basically. I'm going to see how many items more that is there out there that I have to still cancel. Mm, the stuff that I did not get, I'm not going to repeat myself. This is just a new stuff that needs to be canceled. Mm, I hope you understand me, what I'm saying. I am just going to make sure that, that I have absolutely everything that needs to be canceled, canceled. Uh, that stuff already is all cancelled. Yes. There's a bunch of items that did not arrive and uh, that I cancelled them. Bunch of items, in other words, confiscated, stolen. It says uh, completed, see the request, okay. I shouldn't be doing this stuff right now because this is uh, means that I did uh, submit the request. So it doesn't matter whether they refund me or did not refund me. They owe me a whole lot of fucking money at AliExpress. It appears they even refunded me. Uh, 
see the request. So I submitted the request. Okay, cool. So now we have more items. Let's go. Um, as you see here, this is February the 7th. Uh, February the 7th. And uh, that's a February the 12th. We got uh, three items. This item should be here within like two weeks, ten days, they even claim. And they also were. Make no mistake, AliExpress does this really, really good. They're really fast. The deliveries are really good, reliable, fast. But, as I stated, there is something else that goes on. Haha. <laughs> Uh, and so let's see what's happening here with this package. Tracking number uh, starts with the LP something. The seller, it says right there that he shipped my package. Uh, estimated delivery would be on a March 1st. Now, I can I can say that I don't really appreciate this type of information here because arrived at your at local delivery center. No, I don't appreciate this one because it doesn't give me any ability to track basically what went on. So now you reduce the amount of information and I don't have a capacity to track anything. Not too good for me, this stuff here. Digital store estimated delivery in this one. And then they don't give me anything, any information about this. That actually sucks. Okay. March first is today, and um, I am I am I am shocked that there is no there is no information about the package itself. Maybe I can do it through here. Well, yes, indeed. So let's see what exactly happened here. He did. Uh, order received successfully. 14 February 2024. Uh, going through, uh, comes to export customs, that is China already on February the 24th, Chinese go let through the customs, it departs the country of the, the origin, is not, didn't call the country the origin, it's just leaving from the part of country region, arrived at customs in Europe on February the 26th of 2024. So when was that February the 26th, that was on Monday last week, this just happened, so already was in a Budapest. So why do I know this deal already is rotten then? Because it's from the Budapest to Slovenia, it's not far. It's very close. This is one fucking day apart from Novo Mesto, basically, you know? A few hours we are apart, basically. Nice little ride few hours of ride and you are in Budapest or from Budapest you ended up in a normal master city. So that's how I know that this already sucks completely. When it's a February 26th, when it was Monday, it was a work day. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and today was Friday. I make sure I would come. Uh, but anyhow, in uh, Budapest, they already sent this. As you can see, a bow here. It says Budapest. Look at it. Budapest. You see it? Hungary. Budapest. 
So when he came from China, he went to the Budapest. Import custom clearance complete. This is basically from the third country, from outside of the European Union, and it proceeds towards Slovenia. Arrives in a transit country into the facility on February the 27th, like I said, the next day. It should have been the same day, but okay, next day is already in Slovenia. And uh, it's listed as a parcel outbound from transit facility, whatever the fuck that means. And it says, received by local delivery company. It uh, took it uh, three days for uh, lo a local uh, company to receive the fucking package in Slovenia. So when it comes to Slovenia, everything slows down. Everything goes to what happened. It's like a black hole. Like it just falls into the black hole and disappears. It takes three fucking days for the local, the so-called delivery company to receive this. What the fuck is this? And then it's a shipment data is received. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Shipment data Hungary. Hungary. What is this? And then it departed from the outbound gateway facility Budapest, Hungary. I think this is retarded. I think somebody is lying here like a motherfucker because import customs are here you know you see what this is here this is a hungary is right here look arrived at the customs is here look february the 26th so what the fuck is this year now uh arrive at the transit uh, country or facility what is this and then received by local delivery company which kind of local the receiving company? I am in Slovenia. I'm not in a Hungary. What is this now? And then it says here, shipment data re received uh, Hungary. And then uh, departed from the outbound gateways facility Budapest, Hungary. Uh, arrived at the local uh, delivery center March 1st. Yeah? And the March 1st, it departed from the outbound gateway facility Budapest, Hungary, Arrived at the local delivery center at March 1st. <laughs> That's basically what is this? And then they say it was on the March 1st that it arrived to the Maribor. So I think that Hungarians were really, really busy with my package. It could be that Hungarians are now busy with my package. And they kept this package in Hungary for three days. And or I'm going to say, where did this package go? Was there another country that this package traveled to in meanwhile? And then it went back to the Hungary? I don't understand what that's supposed to mean exactly. What is this about? March 1st, it uh, arrived to the Maribor. And they mentioned some kind of... Uh, Warehouse here in the city of the Maribor, that is on the other side of Slovenia, as I told you. So, this is about this package here. Um, I was hoping I could already start the cancellation procedure. Uh, this package should really be here already. If there are any problems, you can apply for refund, a return within the 15 days. You can apply for a refund, a return within the 15 days of confirming receipt. Uh, the way they listed, time-wise, uh, timing-wise delivery, um, and this was ordered on the February 27. I have uh, doubts about this. Next package, awaiting delivery, digital store. This one here. Uh, the same thing, arrived at the local delivery center. Wow, again, uh, I cannot track absolutely anything in respect of this one. Let's see what this is about.
this was ordering the same the same thing uh, basically identical to the package you have seen earlier and I do it like this here is the package Uh, it appears like it was really, really busy in a Hungary. Uh, it seems like in a Hungary were really, really busy with this package, which arrived to the Hungary on February the 26th, leaving from uh, the Pantra country region, that's from China, leaving, arrived to the Hungary on a customs on February the 26th, 2024. It is leaving the customs. Uh, import custom clearance complete uh, and then I don't know what that's supposed to mean arrive at the transit country or facility and then it says parcel outbound from the transit facility and then it says received by local delivery company <laughs> yeah. and then it says shipment data received Hungary and departed from the outbound uh, gateway facility Budapest, Hungary. Uh, therefore, departed from outbound gateway facility <laughs> again, Hungary, Budapest, on March 1st. And then it says it arrived at the local delivery center, whatever that means. And then it says it arrived basically, it, it's reported in the city of the Maribor, that's not too far from the Hungary on the other side of Slovenia. Uh, in the city of the Maribor, right there. I write the outbound gateway facility. Uh, packaging arrived at the, at, the, at the delivery facility uh, in Slovenia, basically. That would be today on March 1st, 2024. Whatever the hell that means. What What is this? What the hell this stuff means? I am just... I'm more and more and more puzzled about this. What is this? This is, a, this is the second package. Uh, horror. How do they say in Hungarian language? Horror. I think they say horror. Uh, so, and then there is this third package. We're going to click on it. This is this one here. Then we go, we scroll down, tick, 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 to this one here. Delivery attempt unsuccessful. Wow. Why am I surprised? Well, maybe I am surprised because this one was ordered on February the 12th. And these two packages were ordered on February the 7th. So why do I feel kind of strange about the package that was ordered five days after uh, already, as it appears to be delivered, they already attempted to deliver me this last package, but it was, as they claim, unsuccessful. So let's see what is the story with this baby here. Aha, uh -huh. actually, for this one, I have from AliExpress. I like it like this very much because it gives me much better opportunity to demonstrate to you uh, what that looks like, what this stuff looks like, what these deliveries look like. So, shipment information received, warehouse February the 12th, and then so on. And uh, Left the warehouse, and then the seller shipped your package February the 12th, received by logistic company February the 12th, processing a departure country, uh, left from departure country, handed over to line hall, custom clearance, Started on February the 14th. Mm, okay. Okay, so that means left China uh, clearance. Boom, boom, February the 14th. That's very, very fast. February the 12th. It was ordered on a February the 12th, as you see it right there. 2024 and 
There you have it. On 14, it leaves the China. Boom. Let's continue to see what's happening. It arrived, obviously, to the Europe. And actually, in Europe, let's see this here. It arrived to the Europe on February the 17th. It makes sense. It makes sense. Three days. Three days from China to, I don't know. Where was it? We will maybe see, maybe not. I don't even know which country. But yeah, it could be Hungary. Uh, so, arrived at the customs on February the 17th, 2024, Hungary, probably. Uh, and then it says February the 17th. February the 17th. In the same all this here, at the same day, uh, it left. And then what happened here? Uh, it says that the next day already was received by the local company. That was on the February the 18th. So that must be here in the city of, uh, in, in Slovenia, basically. Either Ljubljana or Maribor, they received this on February the 18th. Yeah? So this is like very, very, very speedy stuff, man. Uh, look at this, February 12th all the way to uh, February 18th, boom, it's already in Slovenia, and it's out for delivery, they say. Look at that, delivery attempt, however, unsuccessful on February the 21st of 2024. So, um, I am thinking and thinking and thinking right now, and I'm not quite exactly sure what to think anymore about this stuff but luckily for me uh, so i hope you realize that this is uh, how many days uh, we are talking about uh, good eight days in slovenia and uh, somehow they don't know where the novo mesto postal office is because I don't know. Uh, maybe the Novo Mesto Postal Office is, is uh, difficult to find or something like that. Yeah. This would be my address here. Posta Slovenia, Posta Restante, Novo Mesto would be this one here. Uh, let me see if anything changed in meanwhile. No, you can still see it. It's not difficult to find. It's right here. That's all you got to do. It's only one. All right. The building, the address, everything is correct as you see it. Novi Turk Sedem. So what happened with this here? Um, let's see this here. I cannot go and request anything in respect to this package or through Nothing really is okay here with this stuff here. Nothing here is okay. This is definitely not okay. Uh, I am thinking, I'm actually asking myself whether I signed something for this package because this should be already delivered eight days ago. It should have been already delivered eight days ago. Um, and uh, I really, really wonder about this stuff here. This is uh, exactly uh, matches the profile of this SMS here that I demonstrated you. Remember when I demonstrated you at the beginning the SMS? And then I had the postal office, the lady, uh, the next day, when I stopped by at the, at the postal office, the lady claims that there is nothing for me. This is matching this description here, this watch, this item. Uh, is very very closely matching the description that clearly states the item is you know it's about to be delivered for you we received the item so i received the package i i receive everything but i don't receive shit february the 21st 2024 this is exactly this stuff here this is this this item here this is it. Delivery attempt unsuccessful, they say. 
So I'm thinking about if I sign something for it, and I don't recall anything signing for it, I don't recall anything. This is it. <clears throat> Nada, nothing. These are the audio recordings from uh, February the 22nd and uh, February the 23rd. You can see this. You can see this yourself. They assure me there is nothing for me. Huh? There's nothing for me, no, nothing. And we have, um, there's actually no sense for me to go any further with it, but this is from January the 25th. Uh, could have done better than that, let me see that. This is several recordings from January the 30th to to February the 15th. So this is basically, I covered this entirely. I, I was uh, at all the time at the postal office. Uh, I was on the February the 15th, I was at the postal office, I was at the postal office the February the 22nd, I was, uh, I'm actually even surprised that I would not be in between uh, the postal office, but I think that was just once a week that I checked out, it's possible, I don't know, it's possible. Once a week it's good enough, it's plenty enough, but yeah, it's plenty enough once a week. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what what exactly we are talking about here. Let's see what's happening here with this stuff. I did demonstrate to you the watch that was not uh, delivered. Uh, they say here that I have to wait until the March 6th, right? It says here March 6th, 2024, that I have to still wait before I can do, obviously, a, a money return request or something like that. The other one, I did wait it. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what this is, what's happening here. So that you're going to see the damage that's done here. So let's go. Not delivered, not delivered, not delivered. Delivered, 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 it doesn't matter what condition, delivered, not delivered, 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 not delivered, 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 uh, uh, this delivered, not delivered, delivered, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered, uh, delivered by way too late, and I'm not even sure if it's working. Uh, that that's not going to do anything anymore. Let's go to another account. So this is very very fucked up. No, as you see, I mean this is this is some expensive packages here that you see. And uh, like for instance, this one here that was ordered on November the fifth, two thousand and twenty-three, and all these packages here that you see, and this one, uh, and this one here. Let's say November the twenty-fifth, two thousand and twenty-three never delivered uh and then this one here on december the 9th 2023 you know i doubt that aliexpress would not deliver such packages like that they 100 percent deliver and uh, the three packages here did you see not delivered any of them 
Now let's go to another account and we're going to do some uh, Jumbo in another account to see what was not delivered. The watch, remember, that I demonstrated you first was not delivered. Let me see this account to check this one here to see what's happening here. Pretty crazy stuff, man. That is pretty crazy. Okay. So I'm going to start with this here. Not delivered. Uh, why, why, why have I just done that to myself? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, this is a fucking horror. If you want to go and for me to tell you the whole number of the items that were not delivered, it's going to streak your ass. You want to know more about what was not delivered? Not delivered. You see this too? This stuff here? Never delivered. Stolen. Both of them. Never delivered. Both items that you see, both glues that you see right there, none of them delivered. Not delivered. The event party drop shipper store, uh, 60 milliliter shoe repair glue, etc., etc., not delivered. Uh, this stuff here that you see here, this headphones, charger, flashlight stolen not delivered uh the glue that you see right there stolen not delivered the glue that you see right there stolen never delivered um don't worry about this stuff also was stolen because it was substituted with something i have not ordered according to mk ultra scenario instead of it it was uh instead of uh 3.2 it was like i don't know 90s 90 centimeters or something like this and it was not three centimeters wide but it was i don't know two centimeters or something like that centimeter i have whatever the fuck they were doing and so on so uh pretty brutal eh? i mean it's like other items that you have seen were either damaged or they were irregular irregular or they have done something so that they would look not okay and so on uh so this is basically the way it works and the other account i did not even go through to demonstrate you everything so this is a total total theft thuggery coughing when you go to the postal office and basically demands from mk ultra to identify the people the relatives from the police officers and stuff like that and so on this is insane and we can go like this till i actually drop dead no which is finally is the idea about it all no isn't it so i'm gonna put this links here that you can you can relate to this stuff here that's what you want to do um what else can i tell you about this stuff it was the slovenian police that claimed me that they are doing this on behalf of chinese state that it was the Chinese state that asked them to do this to me so that I can advertise the items from the AliExpress for free and also that they claim that is, uh, uh, they would like this to be done to me so that uh, because it's they are doing this stuff to the AliExpress in other countries and so if they would the police would pay more attention uh, to the theft uh, from uh, uh, buyers from aliexpress this is what the slovenian psychiatry and the slovenian police insisted me that's how they wanted me to see this yes uh, eventually uh, that it would be the Slovenian police that would uh, start to, they have the problem 
the, uh, the, the Chinese sellers of, they involve all kinds of issues, including the fruit that is exported to Slovenia, for which they claimed me, it would be a Slovenian police that would also investigate uh, de uh, deliveries from China uh, through the Slovenian port uh, to assure quality and so that this for this all this stuff this would be done through me this is what the Slovenian police claim do I believe them this kind of stuff no because I'm not mentally retarded likewise the Slovenian police claim me that the Chinese uh, are a fucking uh, evil what they did to me was that they claimed that they 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 uh, they made an arrangement with the Chinese sellers uh, and manufacturers, and now they are just waiting for me to make orders that my address is inside of the Chinese computers. And any time that I order anything from China, uh, it is immediately through the government and through the sellers and through the manufacturers that are broken items that are being sent and all kinds of fuck. fuck. Uh, all kinds of uh, nasty stuff like that. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's not very, very nice. Uh, I was promised, however, I have to uh, state, and I completely agree with it, but with the Hungarian uh, postal services. Uh, let me see that baby right there. Uh, uh, Budapest, Hungary. Uh, Postal services insisted me that what they would do is Magyarosh uh, insisted me that if I would fuck with them, that they would let me see this here, this one yes, uh, they claim me that they would do something like like this that they would start to fuck with my uh, with my stuff and when I would order the stuff it would be. It would just travel around the uh, Hungary uh, and would even go to other European countries and then come back and so on and so forth. Something that I demonstrated to you, like it stayed in the in the city of the Budapest for quite some time. Maybe I, who the fuck knows if that's true, whether that's not true. Uh, if it did came through another European city, that should be locked. It was not locked. The thing about it is, I did mention Mr. Siarto. Petrushko. This guy here, yes. This, 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 this guy, yes. I mentioned him, and oh, the problem is that I don't look like a schizophrenic anymore. The problem is that he maybe will have to go to the jail. And this is so fucked up about the law because it doesn't matter even if you are a president of the Hungary or let's say prime minister. Like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Victor Orban, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this one here is really, really interesting me because the Hungarians use me for something very, very criminal during MK Ultra. They uh, use me to steer the ethnic tensions in Romania and in the southern part of uh, Ukraine in what is known as a Bukovina. And so they claim with idea based on the crimes they committed against me, they would eventually even blackmail me through the packaging, through the deliveries into the European Union, which would go through the Budapest in case of Slovenia. And it goes also in case of uh, Croatia and I think maybe Austria. I don't know. Slovakia and so on. Yes. So they started to blackmail me based on the crimes against me. It was nothing other than bestiality. It was a torture. Uh, in Mukachevo area, Ushgorod area, uh, for the sake of what they claimed is a Hungarian minority, which would uh, try to separate itself from 
Ukraine. So for my mentioning this kind of stuff on other videos, uh, it appears that Magyarors, uh, Hungarians got an idea to fuck with the packages of mine, which is actually a criminal act, I'm going to say to you. And it's also discrimination, racism, discrimination, uh, and you know what? Fuck you. I am going to charge you with a genocide procedure. You do not have no right to torture, abduct, hijack, torture for your political agenda, and things are going to get complicated now. And but thanks to you, I actually have even now the proof for this kind of stuff, for your threats, I'm going to say. How long does it take to drive from Budapest to uh, the Novo Mesto, as they have insisted me in Budapest and threatened with invasion on Slovenia? And I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you try and see maybe the videos from the World War II, what it looked like, the Budapest? when you already try to do that. Okay. Uh, that being said, the only thing I am going to do for you right now at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and I will play the song one more time. It's basically the two visits. Especially what I don't like. Especially what I don't like. When I was hijacked by this shit here from London to the Budapest, to be presented with the issues on how it's going to be with my packages. Are you fucking serious? You're going to see what the fuck is going to happen with you when I storm, when I deliver you the cost for my services at the restaurant, at my restaurant. What is it going to be? When I get you to the court, when you get invitation, when I ask you questions about this, you're going to see how it looks like. <clears throat> So, what I will do now is I will play you a song like this. We're going to go out, and there you go. I'm going to play you one more time the audio from February the 27th and March the 1st of 2024. Hungarian postal services, which are involved in it in Budapest, should not stick nose in this stuff. Uh, you fucked me so much that you have stolen me the car from the free parking lot in Budapest. Remember this. In 2017, it costed me about 1,500 euros in cash. And I don't understand even why did you go and hammer the, uh, the doors? Why did you go and vandalize the car, break the interior, hammer the doors and stuff like this. Why, why would you do this stuff? I was good to you. I paid for the hostel. I paid for everything. I paid the bills. I was a good tourist to you. You didn't give me, you didn't have to give me the job just the way you have not given me the job. That's fine. But why so much hatred? Usese Placha. Karma is a bitch. Everything you do Eventually, you're going to be responsible for it. You're going to pay for it. To the postal office in the city of the Nova Mesto on February the 27th of 2024. These are evening hours. Main postal office, Nova Mesto City, February the 27th. February 27th, 2024. Good večer. Uh, jaz sem prišel pa prosim podvedat, če kje je zavno prišlo. Nekatej roke, če bi že vedel, da se prosim. Uh, Vesa, kaj je? Uh, dobel sem sporočilo tukaj, par dni nazaj. In uh, že sem se zglasil, se pravi sporočilo je prišlo v februarje 21. -ga. Tu je pokrbite, katerega smo danes, prosim? 27. Ja, ja, 27. Februarja, ne? 
2024. Būs tie anausets ar panā ausets āno biblijumie? Jā, tu biblija paket, ka es tu ienu glaunam. A, V, S, E, C. A, V, S, E, C. Buštiāna, Alpa, Ausets, Āna. Baši mēku ko? Jezum, bom karam, mēsam daļ sēb nabrāt. Baši mēku ko? 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 Prāv, tu bija bļo naimē, māja māme. Ar pana māja jūmē. Zanīmēju. Prāv, tu lai māja jūmē, tu kai. Prāv, Būs pie tūkē, sievi tā liekas spā tūkē vē, kā jūs šim ir lauri. Načni zomēna. Bet esmu pa februārī 27, gan, ne? 24-20. Ok. Tu ir māja māma, ausa cāna biblu, jā. Āna. Jā. Nīč es ar mīmā tev sistēmu, nīč. Nīč, nīč. Ok, hvala lepa. The following is an audio recording from March 1st, 2024, again, um, Central Postal Office in the city of the Nova Mesto, main postal office, Nova Mesto City. Uh, March 1, March 1st, 2024, therefore just um, three days later, on Friday, today, eventually, I stop again at this postal office to see if there is anything for me. They assure me, again, there is nothing for me. Jaz sem se poglasil, da bi vprašal, če kje za ome prišlo. Avsec Boštjan ali pa Avsec Ana bi bilo. Nobene stvarini. In vidim, da pogledali ste spet samo iz prede, ne? Niste se nekaj sobo tukaj zravili, ne? Da to se sedno sobo, kaj da tu imate, ne? Nisem vprašal, sem... Tukaj imate pošno ležeč od sprede samo, ne? Nimate neč odzadi v sobi. Jaz bom to kar naprej sprašal zaradi druge stvari, katere ste imeli. Vprašal bi vas še eno druga stvar. Katerega smo danes, prosim? Prvi marec, prvi tretji. Hvala lepo vam. Nasvidenje. March 1st, 2024, at the postal office. Absolutely nothing was there for me. All right. 
one more thing for me to do. Used to take a day and time. <laughs> 